Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I will be looking at the OCZ 3000 and 3200 DVR memory. These are the two modules of memory. I will be using modules of 256 megabytes here today. However, you can get these up to 512 megabytes per each module. Something that it does share in common as well is the heat spacer here, the copper heat spacer, and that is basically to dissipate the heat from the memory. Now this is the OCZ 3000 memory which is rated at 366 megahertz DDR and this is the OCZ 3200 memory which is rated at 400 megahertz DDR. Now the big difference here between this kind of memory and memory like this which is DDR memory is of course the fact that this memory will get much higher than something like this and there's a few reasons behind it obviously this memory is designed so it will overclock quite high and this memory you will notice that there is no heat spacer on this to dissipate the heat let me now look at each module of memory and do some overclocking on it with some results the motherboard that I will be using in these results and testing the OCZ 3000 and 3200 memory is the ABIT SD7533 motherboard and these are the timings that I will be using in both the results for both memory 2, 3, 2 and the timing constraint control is at normal you have the latency here at 2.5 and you have the DRAM driving strength at automatic I'm using a Pentium 4 1.6A CPU and the motherboard I am using is the ABIT SD7 533 motherboard now if you will notice here I have actually a true front side bus setting of 152 megahertz but using a special clock divider ratio which you see here 4, 5, 2, and 1 I'm able to get a DDR RAM frequency of 190 megahertz now how does this work? well this is how it works 152 divided by 4 equals 38 38 times 5 equals 190 so basically 190 is the front side bus and 38 times 2 equals 76 that's the AGP bus and the PCI bus would be 38 times 1 which gives you a result a PCI bus of 38 I'm using a program SciSoft Sandra this program is a downloadable demo version off their website the result that I got here is 2800 megabytes per second the result below my result is 2450 now that is RAM bus memory 2450 benchmark and that is of course not overclocked however you can get some indication here that DDR memory is exceeding the RAM bus memory in the current state because of the fact of course that this memory the DDR memory which I am using is so very overclockable again at 190 megahertz front side bus this is the OCZ 3000 memory 190 means 380 megahertz DDR the OCZ 3200 memory you will notice here that the settings are a little different the external clock or the true front side bus is at 1 34 as well as the clock divider ratio is different than the settings I used in OCZ 3000 memory this is basically to show you that I was able to get this memory above 400 DDR megahertz overclock now the reason for doing this well I was not able to get my 1.6 a above the 152 times 16 overclock which is around 2.43 gigahertz so I had to as well use this external clock and divider ratio just to show you how I was able to get the memory up to above 200 megahertz now how did I get this at 201 megahertz or how is that result gotten 
Well, like so. You take 134, you divide it by 10. That gives you 13.4. 13.4 times 15 will give you that 201 DDR frequency. Now you take 13.4, multiply it by 6, that will give you the AGP bus of 80.4, and the PCI bus would be 13.4 times 3 equals 40. 0.2 megahertz. Using those particular settings here for the OCZAD 3200 memory, I'm getting a result of 2830. Now, this result is not a lot higher than the OCZAD 3000 result. However, important things you have to keep in mind here this result is gotten from a true front side bus of 134 times 16. Overall CPU overclock would be a little lower than, of course, the OCZ3000 memory, which I was using at 152 true overclock times 16. So, in that benchmark, the previous benchmark using the OCZ3000 memory, the CPU was a little higher overclocked than in this particular result. So, keep that in mind when you're comparing both of these results. Dependent upon the motherboard and the CPU you are using, of course, you can get much better results on the OCZ3200 memory as I was able to get this up to 201 MHz or DDR 402 MHz. Overall, this memory, as you saw, is completely amazing. At around 402 MHz is kind of crazy to get memory speeds at. But I'm sure that it will go higher, and in some situations you can get the 400 DDR or the 3200 memory here a little bit higher than I got it at. There is some reports of getting this memory up to 400 and around 20 megahertz. So dependent upon your motherboard and probably dependent upon the stick of memory you get, you will get it higher than the 400 megahertz. DDR overclock, which is basically the standard and what it's rated at. Now, as for the 3000 memory, well, again, a result of 190 megahertz, which I got it at, and you might get it higher, dependent again upon the memory and the motherboard. Overclocking is not a science, it's certainly something that's dependent upon a lot of factors. So, keep that in mind when and if you purchase a stick of this memory. However, I did get it to 190. The 3000 memory, very, very stable, no issues at all in this memory. Both sticks of memory, of course, very, very high overclocks, and certainly this memory definitely falls into the category of kick ass. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new video review for you then. Also, be sure to check out my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, check out the forums. In the forums, you can register. Registration is free. You can go in there, leave your own suggestions and comments. And, of course, you can find out more information about this product and about all the products which I video review. Until the next time, take care.